Okay, we are demonstrating this Starbucks Barista Espresso Machine. Today is January 19th at 11.43. I don't know if you can see that on my device here or not, but that is what it is. Um, the first thing you have to know about this machine is it has to be primed prior to using it. It says... It is essential to prime the pump of your Starbucks Barista Espresso Maker when using it for the first time. After steaming milk and any time the machine has not been used for more than a day, this procedure removes air in the pump system, as well as ensuring that your boiler tank has enough fresh water to allow optimal performance of the machine. Not priming may cause serious appliance malfunction. So, the priming instructions are, be sure the machine is off and fill the water tank with cold water. So the way I usually do that is I remove this tray. I pull out this tank and I fill it up with water. And you want to fill it up all the way to the top. Because the machine needs a lot of water to prime. It doesn't need a lot of water to brew or to steam, but it does need a lot of water to prime, so another thing I've learned about this machine is you don't want to leave the water in the machine because it can it can go bad on you, so you want to leave, you, when not in use, you want to make sure this tank is empty. So I'm going to put the tray back in here. Make sure all the buttons are in the off position and steam knob is closed. This is the steam knob over here on the left. Place a cup under the brewing area and a cup under the steam wand. Depress the power button to turn the machine on. The color on the power button will change from white to red. Immediately turn the steam knob open and do not wait for the ready light. So I'm going to... Allow four ounces of water to throw the steam wand into the cup. Okay, so that's about four ounces of water. So I'm going to pour that out. Close the steam knob, depress the brew button. Color will change. To green. Water will become flowing into the green area. Allow four ounces of water to flow through the brew head into the cup. That looks like about four ounces. I'm going to stop this. It says to press the brew button again to stop the flow of water. Machine is now primed and ready to use. Proceed either to steaming milk or the brewing section. So I'm going to pour this out. And we're going to proceed to steaming of milk. Okay, be sure your machine... Be sure to prime your machine by following the priming steps prior to steaming. Wait for the ready light to illuminate. And you can see this is the ready light is not yet illuminated. So while it's illuminating, I'm going to put some more, some milk in this steaming pitcher. The this steaming pitcher is a little bit deep for this machine. You have to put the kind of the wand at just the right angle here so that you can get the steaming get the steaming wand down to the bottom of the thing. So this the ready light is illuminated. It says press the steam button. This is this is the brew button. This is the steam button. I'm gonna press the brew button. I mean the steam button. Wait for the ready light to come back on. So it's gonna take a few seconds to do that.
When the radar light is on, turn the steam on, open, and release any abur initial burst of water or condensation into a cup, and turn the steam knob close. So that's what I'm going to do. So when you... Ooh, you uh, so you can see that this hat, that's going to be pretty hot. It has a pretty good... It's pretty much how it should look at this point. But, you know, initially, it's... Uh, initially, it... It releases a bunch of water and you don't want all that water in your milk. So now we're going to proceed to steaming. They recommend that you use a thermometer. I'm not going to use a thermometer. I'm just going to turn this on. And I'm going to feel the bottom of the, the cup to make sure it doesn't get too hot. I think when I first started using this machine, I would tend to burn the milk. Uh, the really foolproof way, of course, is to use a thermometer. But if you don't use a thermometer, you can use your hand. So that's pretty hot. It's, it, I, I wouldn't want it to get any hotter than that. You can see there's... There's uh, it's got a nice foaming froth there. So we turn this on. So they recommend that you, after you finish this step, that you wipe off the the wand, and I would recommend that. This is the best time to wipe that off, and I would also run some steam through it just to make sure that it's uh, that it's clean, because you don't want that thing getting gummed up. So the next thing we're going to do is some is the brewing instructions. And again it says be sure to prime the machine following the prime priming steps prior to brewing. Wait for the ready light to illuminate. I'm going to turn this off. And I so the ready light is illuminated, that means it's ready to go. We're going to put some coffee grounds into the machine here. says to even it out at the top and you should have about a one-fourth to one-eighth of an inch. It looks like I have about a fourth of an inch clearance there. Let me put this back in and move it over to the side here. Press the brew button on to start pump. The color on the brew button will change to green. Be sure the ready light is illuminated. So the ready light is illuminated. After approximately five seconds you'll hear the pump sound change and diminish it. Approximately five seconds later, the coffee will begin to pour from the pour spouts into the shot glasses. Okay, so I'm going to put a cup under here. I'm going to turn the machine on. So that's a double shot of espresso, and you can see it has kind of a nice crema on the top there, um, and so basically we're done here. The, I'm, I, you know, this is a cappuccino, so I'd pour the milk into the cup here. I'd probably try to get some of this froth into the top of the cup, but essentially we're done here, so... Um, it says to remove the Rapoport filter from the brew head by turning the Rapoport filter handle completely to the left and dispose of used coffee. So uh, you should be able just to turn this to the left and remove it and then close it. 